Hi, this is Dave with NAPCO Tech Support. In this video, I will explain how to set up your DTM and DL windows, how to program your lock with a DTM code, and how to transfer data between the DTM and your lock. Feel free to pause the video at any time if it makes it easier to follow along. Before plugging your DTM into your PC, Make sure you install the driver for the ALPCI2U cable first. The driver can be found in the folder you downloaded to install DL Windows. The folder is named ALPCI2U underscore CP210X underscore Windows underscore Drivers. The file named CP210XVCP installer underscore x64.exe is the file you will run to install the driver. After the driver is installed, plug the ALPCI2U cable into your PC. Next, in your DL Windows software, click Tools. Then choose the option Comport Setup and Test. When the window pops up, select your Comport on the left and click Test. When the test completes, it should read Loopback Test Passed COM Port Set 2 and the port number you selected. After it has passed, click the Set button. If this test fails, please see our video for troubleshooting DL Windows connection issues. Now that you have set up your port, the next thing you must do is assign a DTM code in DL Windows. You can assign a DTM code by clicking on the global button. When the global window pops up, click on the administrative users button at the bottom of the window. When the administrative user window opens, you will see in the bottom left, there is a location for DTM download. This is where you will add your DTM download code. I'm going to make mine 299 for demonstration purposes. You must add this same code to your locks. The DTM code is to prevent a random person in possession of a DTM from being able to send or receive data to your lock. Next, we need to prepare our lock to communicate with the DTM. Since we set our DTM code in DL Windows to 299, we will do the same in our lock programming. The user for the DTM code in the lock is user 299. First, we go into programming on the lock. My lock has the default master code of 123456. So I will press the master code and then A to get into programming. To get to user programming, I will press A2A. Then the user number of 299 and then A. Then the DTM code of 299 and star. Finally, hold the star key for five seconds to exit programming. The lock is now ready to be used with our DTM. Before we can send data to or receive data from our lock, we must first program our DTM to either send or receive. Make sure to set your DTM to PC COM mode. To set your DTM to PC COM mode, power up your DTM. When asked if you want to set for select or STD, Choose the option Select. It should then say PC COM mode. To program the DTM, click on the DTM icon located at the top of the screen in DL Windows. Find the lock in the list you wish to communicate with and set your function. 
you have three possible functions. Receive program, send program, and receive log. For this example, I'm going to set mine to send program. After you set the function, you must check the selected box for the locks you wish to communicate with. In the bottom left-hand corner, you will click Program DTM. Your communication window will pop up, and when it completes, you will receive a few beeps from your DTM and the screen will return back to the DTM window. On your DTM, it will display lock mode, yes or no. Choose no. It will then display door select mode, yes or no. Choose yes. It will now ask you to set door two. This number will correspond to the lock ID number in your DTM window. In my case, it is number one. So I will leave my DTM at number one and press the button under set. The process is the same for receive program and receive log. Now we can take our DTM to our lock and transmit our data. You will unplug the ALPCI2U cable from the DTM and plug in the double-ended banana plug. The side with the tab always plugs into the black port on both the DTM and the lock. The following steps are the same steps you would use whether you are downloading to the lock or receiving a program or log from the lock. When you are ready, plug the DTM into the lock and press go. Verify your DTM is now cycling between plug in and enter code and waiting for lock. Once verified, press your DTM code of 299. You should hear your lock beeping and see the DTM packets increase until it completes. Once complete, you can unplug the DTM from the lock. If you were downloading to the lock, you are now finished. If you are receiving the program or a log from your lock, you would now take the DTM back to your PC, plug it in, and in DL Windows, go back to your DTM window and click on Receive Data from DTM. One question you may be asking yourself is, what is the difference between lock mode and door select mode? Door select mode uses the lock ID that you see in DL Windows to identify the lock you are working with. This is used for your first time programming a lock or if you are programming a lock after a default. This allows the DTM to set the lock ID inside the lock. After the lock ID is set in the lock by the DTM, you can use lock mode. You can also continue using door select mode if it is easier for you. But if you have 20 locks and don't want to have to remember the lock ID of every lock, it may be easier to use lock mode. Just remember, lock mode can only be used if the lock has the lock ID programmed into it by having previously used the DTM in door select mode. If you need more information about using DL Windows or documentation for a NAPCO device, head on over to our tech library at tech.napcosecurity.com.